actual station there and the way that people spoke with AB and what was done and it was just very very interesting exactly what went on so uh, what we'll do is we'll see if we can get another shot of the actual vehicles and everything else going on and so and that's what we'll do so it's just extremely interesting that when you actually look at what is actually there and what is actually going on Hello, mate. Hello, sir. How are you? Okay, I'm alright. Not, not bad, too bad. Not bad. What, what are you trying to film us, sir? What's going well, on? first of all, would you mind identifying yourself, sir? Yes, PC Singh here. And Some your time. shoulder number? 1862 Whiskey Alpha. Nice to meet you, sir. Pleasure. Have you having you. a nice day? Oh, of course, sir. Good. Tell me what's going Good. on, sir. Oh, nothing. I'm just okay. filming, sir. I'm okay. just filming. Can you tell me the reason behind the hopefully? Yes, the reason why I'm actually recording yeah. is because there was a fellow auditor that okay. was down here yesterday okay. yeah. that had his complete rights abused. Oh, yesterday he was here for a grand total of about 10 seconds uh -huh. turning off of that corner behind me okay right when did this happen what yesterday afternoon yesterday afternoon yep okay and literally it was absolutely yeah. disgraceful in the manner in which it was done what who 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 basically did there were four that officers that were actually involved afternoon sir how are you hello how are you not too bad would you mind identifying yourself for me please sir and your color number well, I'm asking you for your collar number. Have it. It's 1993 Whiskey Alpha. Thank you very much, sir. And I hope you're having a lovely afternoon as well, sir. Okay. Can I ask what, you, what you're filming? Yep, exactly what I just said to your colleague. I'm here literally to do with a fellow auditor that was here yesterday afternoon that literally had his rights completely abused under Section 43. Right. And it was absolutely disgraceful. The man had not even come off of that corner. He got from there to literally there and they all jumped out of the van here and that was it they were on him so whether or not you think that that's acceptable for police officers to actually abuse section 43 in that way yes you were here no i weren't here yesterday did you no. witness what happened well i've seen what's happened it was all recorded and it was absolutely disgraceful three actual pcs and one pcso now the pcso was really nice and quiet at the start uh, but then literally then sort of piped up a little bit. But the other os officers, honestly, I think it's got to be the most disgraceful thing I've seen from any officer in a long, long time. Because auditors aren't just out there literally to look at bad things, it's also to look at all the good things that you guys do as well. And there's a lot of officers that do do a hell of a lot of good work. And you guys have had a lot of work to do over the year, last year and a half. So that also has to be highlighted as well. So is the purpose of videoing the entrance is for what? Uh, because I'm legally entitled to. Yeah. But what, what is the purpose? Why do you want to film the purpose? Because I want a visual of the whole station and where I am. And that is why but I'm actually doing it. You're concerned when you're filming cars entering and leaving and officers, officers in, and, uh, in uniform and not in uniform. Yeah, but then can you answer me this, sir? Am I doing anything lawfully wrong? I don't know the legislation of No, no, I yes or no. Am I doing something so lawfully wrong? It looks suspicious. Yeah, but filming. suspicion is not a crime, sir. Okay. okay. So I stay well within the parameters of what the law states I can do. Yeah. I will never go out of what the law states, okay. because then for me doing that, I am breaking the law. Okay. But I will always stay to within the remits of the law, and that's exactly what I'm doing, sir. So you mentioned about some complaints from yesterday. Are you going to follow that up? Yes. Yes. Because I would express that you do if you do. Oh, don't worry, sir. There will be there. Will, there is a lot of support for the gentleman that it happened to. Yeah. A lot of support. So those complaints, you need to phone up 101. Oh, don't worry. That has already been done, sir. That has already been done. Okay. So I'll ask again. Like, what is the idea of being here today? What, what's the because purpose? I'm doing a follow-up audit on the way that he was treated. So how long do you plan on being here? Uh, however long it may take, sir. Uh, I don't have a set time. I go to other locations and I do the exact same at other locations. If somewhere else has a story, whether or not it's good or bad, then I see if there's actually any communication on that. If not, 
I will gladly talk to how many officers are out there and would like to actually have a chat. And I welcome all interaction from all officers, plain clothes or not. I welcome all interaction. Have you been to the front office to speak to an officer? Or well, not? your front office here is shut. Yeah, sorry, I, it's not my station, I don't know. Yeah, no, this front office has been shut since 2017. Okay. So, that's, as you know, most of our actual offices throughout all of our police stations up and down the country are all being removed. And those stupid little yellow phones that are being put in place is wrong. It's completely wrong. Okay. No problem. Are you intending to leave very shortly, are you? Uh, I don't know, sir. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I may be here 10 minutes. I may be here for half an hour. I don't know. That is something I could not tell you. So, you have two other officers that have come out, uh, not in uniform, and literally just pulled the other nice young gentleman to the side, and just having a chat. So, which is perfectly fine. As I said, so far, all the interaction has been really nice, really, really quite happy, really cheerful. Uh, and it's amazing what 24 hours can actually do in the state of the way that AB was treated, uh, and the way that is now being done literally afternoon and the way that it's now being done and what was done okay sir okay. we're gonna leave no worries okay as i said thank you very much for your time i do appreciate it yeah. okay no worries, okay. No worries sir take care so the uh, other two gentlemen that came out must have been two people uh, that may have been here yesterday uh, may not have been here yesterday but I think that they have have now fully been briefed up uh, to do with what's right and what's wrong uh, and yeah it's a shame AB you had your rights completely taken away and there was no disregard for your rights I mean sorry there was no regards for your rights at all and when you look now, I think by what was done, I think it's gone out there big enough and wide enough now that I think that when you look at Uxbridge Police Station, I think that they may now have been completely reined in, so to speak. Whether or not reined in is the right word, I don't know. But it looks like everybody is completely avoiding anyone with a camera here at Uxbridge today so what I will do as I said I will make my way to my second location for today but most of all peeps do be safe do be well uh, as I said this was all for you AB big love mate uh, and Hope you're having a good one, and all and all the rest of you boys. Uh, so, do take care. Uh, most of all, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that is to plod or not to plod. Signing off from Uxbridge Police Station. So be safe, peeps.